Hey, what's up guys, how you doing? So, I'm down here at Dan Whitaker's Golf Studio in Highley Park, I think it's near Manchester, Knutsford Way. And I've come down for my first golf lesson with Dan to work on my game and uh, improve. You know, I've been off five and six handicap on and off for like 15 years. It's just want to try and get a bit better, you know, try and get some different opinions, you know. And Dan's got real some real cool equipment up here at Highley. He's an amazing teacher. So we're gonna see what happens, try and get some numbers and some different angles and stuff, proper technical stuff, you know, it's something I've never had before. So I'm really excited anyway, I'm gonna document my progress with Dan and uh, let's see how we do. Hope you enjoy. Okay, Stu, so what I'm seeing is here at the start, a little bit too much knee flex, maybe weight's a little bit too much towards your toes, just a yeah. fraction, okay? Yeah. yeah. Then what we're intending to see is, as we start to see the club moving back from the down the line here on the left-hand side of the screen, yeah. what we tend to see is that, can we see that your, your arms, if anything, are slightly moving a bit quicker than your body, mm. and then from here, you then, this right elbow starting to fold and flex behind you in this direction. Yeah. So once that's going backwards here, and you go towards the top, we get at the top and we see that right elbow's fl flying just a little bit mm. and that left arm is a little bit steep relative to your shoulder plane. Yeah. You see it right there. Yeah. So because that's steep in that position, you've got to wait for that to drop down. Mm. So some of the times, you go, like those first couple of shots, if I just bring this track man data in onto the screen really quick here for you. Okay, let's just. You know, that's something I've never had. You see the track man data, I know it's going to be all over the place, but we need to work on it. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll get it sorted. There's so much action with my club head, you know, through the impact area. Yeah. That's what I'm at. Okay, so here we are. So what we can see is 2.9 out to win, 9.9 open on the face on that last shot. Mm. The one before, 2.5 open, 4.9 open on the face. Mm. So you definitely got a little bit steep out to win and definitely got the face open. So this is the steepness and what have you. Okay? Mm. It's, a lot of it's coming from this back swing. So then what will happen is the club starts to shallow. So you see how the club shallows yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. But now as it's shallowing, okay, your arms are still coming in a little bit steep. Mm. And what happens is your your backside starts to go forwards towards the golf ball. So yeah. the elbows come backwards here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now what you've then got to do is you've got to fight it through impact here. Knee's gone out. Mm -hmm. It gets quite flippy through the ball yeah. here with the hands. That's you trying to save it. Yeah, save it, yeah. Okay. Let's just draw these couple of lines on the pelvis here. You can see what's happening. You can see there's a little bit of head movement over to the right, probably a little bit too much. We watch this now, head movement over to the right. Yeah. Hips actually do a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what's then happening is, we obviously know that's a bit steep, so then arms come down even steeper, mm -hmm. legs aren't particularly shifting, so you're more standing no. up with them. I feel stuck with my legs a lot. Yeah, well I don't think you've got anywhere to take them from where you are mm. at the top. You can't actually move those legs through, yeah. because if you shifted those legs through from here, what would happen is, from this down the line on the left hand side, what we'd see is, if you use those legs properly, that club would get so, tr or that elbow would get so trapped in this area, mm. you'd be in it a mile into out here, yeah. your face would be miles open. So, obviously, we know it's steep here yeah. and then that early extension and stuff. So, what we need to do is today, we need to get that backswing in a, in a better spot. Yeah. Here's, once again, first move, everything's going back together, mm. and we'll notice that right elbow is folding down to the top of the backswing. This is the sort of thing we're going to try and get you working yeah. on today. So get that done, and then what we'll then should be able to start doing is getting in a position where we can start yeah. that downswing and get rid of that early extension, which is, that's the killer because your arms are coming down steep. Yet the early extension means that you can't get the club back to the ball. So that's why it's always coming in open. So you have to flip it with your hands. So when you're timing those hands well, yeah. on that it's day you absolutely flip. rip it, mm. and you get it nice and straight. Another day, it's just like all over the place. Mm. And, and it's one of the reasons that because your arms are behind you, mm. As you're trying to let the club come back in sort of this way, you're probably adding loft and that's why you struggle so much in the wind. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Can't get to myself, can't get to myself, can't get to myself. 
And you can see here, this looks so different. Looks like all one, you know, all connected and together. Absolutely. You know, we've got that one. The last three swings have been net, have been really, really, really good. This one was unbelievable. So yeah, first move, one piece. And then boom. Mm. But they're all getting like that. It's that one, and the one after it, which was class again. These are all now finding the same spots compared to at the start. Okay. Yeah, God, oh my God, it's so slight like outside my feet. I'm talking about Eamon Darcy, I'm swinging like Eamon Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the difference there, it's poles apart, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, unbelievable. Arms are in, hips are turned, arms lower down, loaded the club, it yeah. looks really, really, really good. Elbows so much lower and tighter. Yeah, been delivered. You see how it's starting to drop in there? Look at how steep it was coming yeah, down. Yeah, God, yeah. Now look at it there, Yeah. to there. To there. That's unbelievable. And that, okay, so a huge difference as you can see right here at the end. This is obviously the one at the start on the left hand side. Yeah. So we can see here how what you were tending to do was get those arms moving a little bit on your own first, as you slightly drifting the head off to the right hand side. Mm -hmm. And what they did is got very steep with the elbow going backwards this way. Yeah. And then to the top, that left arm's really steep with that right elbow way too far away from your body. Take a look at it now on the right hand side of the screen. See how everything's starting to move back as a single unit. Mm -hmm. So you can see everything's starting to turn there. It's really good. Now that left arm's rotating, that right elbow's folding. So that was the very last swing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just think this one, the one before that, was absolutely fantastic. Okay. See how much shallower this is starting to get at the top. Yeah. Okay. We've got this one here, which we both said was rose-esque. And you really are both delighted with this. Hands going in during the first move, so you start to get that one piece takeaway. Right elbows folding, left arms rotating, and look at that top of the back swing. Yeah. That is so, so different to this. Yeah. Mile apart. apart. Absolutely, so this was coming down really steep at the start. You can now see how much shallower this is coming in. That's a fantastic delivery there. Club's going through your forearm, look where the club head is compared to this. That's the same left arm position. It's crazy. So there's like two foot difference in the, where the club head is positioned. Now it's coming in a lot more inside with space before a lot more chasing and flipping through the ball. So just to recap with it, making sure that you get the body to rotate first, getting that left arm to rotate halfway back, with that right elbow feeling like it's working in and under a little bit. And it feels like a little bit short to you at the top, which makes sure you get that stretch from that left shoulder and that left arm across the body. I put that? Yeah, thanks a lot, man, I appreciate it. Right guys, hope you enjoyed this quick video. Although that was my first lesson with Dan, I really appreciate his time. Uh, don't forget to check his channel out, I'll leave all the the details in the description box. Thanks very much, Dan. I'll see you in the next lesson, mate. Definitely look forward to it. <laughs> yeah, and have a good holiday. Thank you. <laughs> so just a quick recap there. I really enjoyed that lesson. It was amazing to meet Dan there and uh, very knowledgeable and I was in my element with all these gadgets. He's a bit similar to me and I really enjoyed it. It was informative. So good to uh, work on my swing, a different different set of eyes looking at my golf swing. And yeah, I was working on my back swing getting that right arm folding more underneath and the left arm across the shoulder stretching the the lats a bit more in the backswing, again real tight and compact there. You can see in the videos the improvements and it feels a lot more passive as my, my arms are starting the downswing and swinging through the impact zone. It, everything feels great so it's just a case of keep working on that, really ingrain that into my muscle memory and then I'll see you down in a few weeks time. Thanks very much for watching, appreciate your time as always. I'll see you later. I just want it.